All right, so we changed up the fuel pressure. We put a little more pressure in it. Hopefully we have a little more fuel for the top end and we can keep into that power and maybe break 900. That'd be cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I throw at it. It's out of, out of fault? Yeah. Yep, so. That should have been a huge change in it. So do you want to, do you just want to leave the car and have them converted to the mechanical pump? We're 90% injector duty, so I'm just out of pump. So yeah. is it, you're, out of, you're out of volume, a mechanical or an electric, which you don't know because of the noise. But we're, let's walk up. We're just stuff. Mechanical pump. I'm already super stoked on the setup and how it's coming out, and I can't wait to get it strapped on the dyno, make some power. We want to try to take this to the track as well and uh, have Jamie jump in there and drive it and test it out for him. So I'm glad you guys are back to the channel. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of our videos. We got a lot coming up and it's all just gonna be a good time. So guys, let's get to work. Let's get some of these hot rods rolling. Mechanical pump, stock fuel tank. That's badass. All right, so we got the mechanical pump installed and the car's running pretty good. But we had to use some starting fluid, which helped start the car and got the pump spinning fast enough to where it would actually build some pressure. So overnight, I thought about it and I came up with a solution. Let's go ahead and dive in and test it now. Sad song. Oh, it was like it's been on NF. Yeah, it was an NF trauma song. Oh, I like NF. Yeah, me too. I like Offspring. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Jamie had come up with this ingenious way of doing this. I think this is awesome. So we used a Holly bag, which I mean, they absorb fuel like nothing else. If it's, it grabs it on a corner, yeah. it's gonna suck it. Yeah, I love these bags. And then we drew it up here, and then we came out to the fuel Just pump. Basically, it runs perfect, but we're having a little problem priming. So yeah. what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to put one of his old fuel pumps, which I have laying around. Anyway, oh yeah, here. I'm going to try to put one of his other fuel pumps to this port right here, similar to that, and uh, see if it can't help pick up some extra fuel just to prime it. Yeah. And then uh, we'll put shut it back the, in. We'll shut the electric pump off once it's running. Right, that's all we're gonna have to do it's is. Literally, it's just a prime pump. Yep. And I think it's on a switch in this car anyway. That's exactly it's right. Perfect. All, all right. You put it in? It's in my hand. Oh, sweet. <laughs> right here, Jamie is getting the fuel pump put back onto the hanger. He's uh, tying it to the hose that's right next to it so they can be locked into the same position. I am stripping some wires. They've got their wires running through the silicone. So right here, I'm tracing them out so I know which side is which. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some new wires soldered onto the ends here and uh, attach the other side to the pump and uh, go ahead and get this bad boy back into the car. Never been able to do it with a rod on there. That is that's the right way. gonna work. See, and that's kind of how it was for me. I just had to start that one right there at your thumb. That one. It's still how it is. So. Yeah. And then I tighten that one <laughs> to the next one. I 
just want to make sure I'm not pinching nothing. This works. This will be. This works. This will be a great way. I feel to do a high-powered system with what you got. So that's the other thing. We gotta work with what we got. We don't all got the funds to chase a bunch of fancy parts. Most of us don't. We make we make ourselves work. I mean, we could have made a custom tank. We could have made a custom lid. It's nice he had this lid already because he was trying to make some power. I just needed a little more. You know, last night I was, I woke up and I was like, you know, if we just put a pump on the other side, probably wouldn't have to mess with much. Start like normal, and act more normal, so almost good. All right, so I just need to ground this one, run this one to one of these relays, and uh, we're gonna strap her down and test her out. Woohoo! All right, let's test this sucker out. All right, we got a pump. Very cool. I totally forgot I needed to take the boost controller down because we have switched this hot rod to a four port boost solenoid and I gotta make sure I got control. Without those pumps on? Yeah, I, was, I can do it without that on. Okay. I don't know if it makes much difference or not, but we'll yeah. find out. Yep. Something different. Yeah, now it was so fat. We'll see though. The nines at the end, 10 2, 10 1. It's right when the second set came in. So that was only like 7,700. Oh, yeah, they would be 30 on. pounds. Yeah, they would be on. All right, we were so fat. Try to make a couple adjustments. If we can't wait to make this hot rod. I made 848. 848. It's a 12. It was better, but it was still a Yeah, you can see where it was smooth and then where it got rich. So. And this is all just the only thing we really changed was putting a second set of injectors in. And the pump. And the pump stuff. So it's like we've actually got good fuel pressure yeah. and we've got a second set of injectors. So now it's just equal it all out. Yeah, this is awesome. This car is awesome. Yeah, I'm stoked. So we did get the boost down, like a spike of pressure, but then it came down. So okay. we're finding the control too, and that that's only revving it to 8,500. Oh sweet. <laughs> so I, I'll still have a power band there. Oh, it's got a power band. <laughs>
go. I just need to run a hose off the overflow. Yeah, I got one that time to back to back. Yep. But it feels good. I got one that time to back to back. Yep. But it feels good. Yeah. I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. 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 I was really messing with the boost control, trying to get a handle on it. So I changed U second. I changed. Yeah. Where it was coming in. So the fuel is very close now. 11.2, I heard a couple of misses where I probably need to gap the plugs down. Yep. Maybe a little more. Boost came down to 36. I can gap the plugs but, and put a new set in. So like I get, when I don't have that, see how delayed it was? Yeah. So the only difference is putting the boost control in those two spots. Yeah. And that's like... See, I thought I was standing it up too early, so I backed it out. And that's like... See, I thought I was standing it up too early, so I backed it out. That's literally twice the horsepower. So you can see on the gate, it would just be a... Oh, well, it'd be a turd. Right so, like, that one was like, gate, 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 gate. Mm -hmm. Who's control? What's the two-step on? The speed, or...? Let's check that out. Welcome back. Uh, I've got the, I've got Shane, Stephen, and uh, Jamie. And we're going to head to the track and go test this rig out. All right, we got all unloaded. Goofy's doing the tires right now. Jamie's suiting up, and uh, we're getting ready to. Take this down the track and see how this baby will do. Anxious to know, you know, this is a pretty rad little setup. So, can't wait to find out and start dialing it in. All right, Todd. Twin Turbo Todd out here today testing. Trying to figure out all his new stuff. Dial his bad boy in.
<laughs> that thing, it's gonna that take, shifted hard one to two. Yeah, when he gets it to leave, it's yeah. gonna go. Ugh. It needs a little more power out of the hole, you know, it's just yep. hopping the tire. And, I might turn the nitrous on. <laughs> we put a little nitrous in case the two turbos didn't want to mix the boot. <laughs> you know me, I love that stuff. I think it should be in everything. Very cool. I mean, it worked good at the farm, two-stepping it with the nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? Oh, that's cool. What's up, dude? Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Joel just got that new turbo on there, so. Yeah. Ah, it's good to see you. I miss you. We're having some Sean time. <laughs> Sixty foot. I'm saying a one eight. One eight. Jane. I don't know. There was smoke. One seven. One seven for oh, AA Ron. There was smoke. I mean, there's not goofy. any more numbers to pick. I'd have Just to throw a number at us, Goof. Like two one. Two one. All right. Yeah. We got our numbers he in. It's like forty feet out and clicked it second. I know, and it was like so much. That was smart though. Yeah. That was a yeah, smart was play to get out of gear. down the short track. See what it weighs. 2590. <laughs> <laughs> we had to pedal it. Oh yeah. And then you short shifted into second. You're like, screw this. Oh yeah. And then a mop. Out of it. Yeah. Come on out. It's I was fat. 
154. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I went through the traps and I'm like, I got no shoot. Thank God we're in Vandermeer. <laughs> <laughs> but the brakes, everything's solid as hell on this thing. Uh, it looked good. Just that. Down first gear. Like, yeah. All the way. Not all the way, but a lot. Okay. We'll see this what we thing, can do. Um, you stopped the logger? 90. Yeah, I stopped and saved this past one. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, 2590. 2590, so it's not light. No. Well, I mean, dude, look inside. It's like, everything. There's, a, there's everything there. And then there's a box built in here over the pump yep. stuff and it's, everything. It is a sport class, perfect sport class car. This so, is going to go a 40 if we fix the short track. Uh, all right. Uh, and these are, oh, these are the good, better these tires. These are the better tires, but they're not great. You know what I mean? They're not like mine. Yeah. Like, okay. feel them. Yeah. Feel them. They're not there. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do so, in the short track. Um, we said seven flat. Make it work. Tire. Mine is good. Here. See how long his, his sixty foot was? He just he must he have broke the beam and sat there. But well, it, it Jamie like slip two o four eight six nine. Dude, look I mean, at the back half though. Just think of what it'll make up when the front half's worked out. This thing's gonna be fast. Dude, but look at the mile an hour. I know. It's just gonna get better. Good job, dude. dude I mean, my, my I like driving stuff. Like, I know. I know. My 96 was a full one. Yeah. You guys want your car worked out? Send it to PFI. We'll work it out. Put Jamie in the hot seat. Shift through your gears and watch your car get fast. Welcome to Colorado.
There we go, there we go, there we go. That's some progress. That's moving. There we go. Not bad. That's what we needed. Woohoo! Hey, our puppies! Woo! Good to see you. I almost made it with the Freedom Civic, man. We started it last night, midnight. Close. All right. What happened was, so you heard it start popping and then it stopped popping. I thought that was you. No. That was, I had to preload it really hard to get it to pop. Because I like got in and yep. I moved to the other one and I kind of came off a little bit and it all went away. So I had to load it again and then I didn't know if it was going to move. So you'll see in the video, I rolled it. Yeah. So like, look how bad the short track was though. <laughs> one seven four. <laughs> and a four three. Dude, it'll go with 40 it would, with it, the short track. Right? Like three step, it's on. We need to adjust the pedal too. The pedal's really high. Dude. Yeah, the pedal is. I know that. High. I almost felt like I was on clutch for a second when Could I put have it been. in second. I feel like I was on clutch. Could have been. So the good pass though. It was. It was, it was awesome. Um, we need to put a shoot on it. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well, I mean that's probably good. We could just talk to him now. Dial yeah, in know, a couple we little know things. What we need to do now. Yeah. Maybe you'll. That's. I mean, dude, that's four tenths of a second quicker than. You know, like, he wanted a nine. He didn't care if it was a nine, nine, nine. Like, shot that out. And we, and you know, a 40's there. We just need to oh, yeah, clean it up. Dude. The mile an hour is six. It's a sport car. You know, I know he wanted to keep it, like, real full interior, all that. We can keep everything. Some bias in that thing. Seats, bias, get rid of all the excess, because it's like 190 pounds heavy. Yeah. And he's Four my nine. size. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Man, look how much weight I lost, though. This is my right. old Jack. That's hilarious. That's great though. It's and I awesome. Got jeans on it. But you know, so yeah. fluffy. Yeah. But so we got to get like 150 pounds out of it. Weight bias it. Three step. You know, I'm yep. staging brake because that e brake is. I saw. With that seat, it sucks. Yeah. Like that's part of why I'm rolling it out because I'm sitting. You're sitting weird. weird. We'll yeah. see in the video for sure. But 100%. we definitely it's a great job, dude. This thing will. I feel like once we sort it out, we can go at 20. Keep, keep giving me numbers like that. Yeah, it'll go it. I it mean, do it. Put a shifter in it. Straight or slow. We'll see it. Sorry about the wind. Yeah. We are dealing with weather. This is racing in Colorado. All right, so we made it back to the shop. We ended up getting some weather there at the track. So we got, we got three passes in. One was not what we were after, but the car was definitely making some progress. So this thing was a lot of fun. This was our progress of the day. So we started off with a 10-1 with horrible front half. Horrible. And then this, we were just talking about that. See, it showed red. Oh, yeah. But it it wasn't. Yeah. So this one was just like a whole botch pass. So yeah, we were talking throw about that one it. Away. We were talking about it, and it was, you know, it didn't really do a burnout. Right. The two-step was down, so, like, tires were wet. I was out of the groove. Like, this one goes away. But then the 960, so look at these increments, 174 and a 438. Okay, imagine so you're... This, this is Stevens. You imagine those. 96. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ten nice mile an hour almost. Yeah. And like, look, I mean, this thing's just making so much horsepower. Yeah. 120 what to 116. Yeah. yeah. So. And so it's one of those like this, you can almost compare back to like my 90s and 91s. Yeah. And it's, if we can get it a 15 and a 40, which this car should... flat out it rip. It, do a low nine and if we can lay more power into it which yeah. we've got the room to right. do it can go an a90 yeah up here especially I mean. getting the weight bias right and other stuff we we learned the tie rod bolts need changed some little stuff so some little stuff. and this thing's heavy it's almost 2600 pounds yeah right it's 2595 to be in it and i think he's about my size what's that it's my 62 list <laughs> <laughs> steve steve is getting ready for next season but i think I think it was a productive day. Oh, I, this was awesome. We got this thing dialed in. We had a lot of fun at the track. We got to see everybody and uh, got to make some rips. And we got to hang out with you guys. So guys, that's going to do it. Make sure you guys jump on the website, pfispeed.com. Grab yourself some merch. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our episodes. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching. So see you tomorrow.